Hello everyone, this is Don Hayes. Um, I'm going to be going over how to um, create email accounts using your control panel. Um, first of all, um, let's jump to the control panel login page. You will need to have a username and password and this should be provided to you by uh, Special Toys Network. If not, then um, get a hold of your project manager or put in a ticket support and we'll get it taken care of for you. Um, so you would enter in your username, which is typically your email address. So, and after logging in you'll be at the home page for the control panel. What we're focusing on today um, is just the mail. Clicking on the mail tab will then show you what email accounts you have already set up, if any, um, but it'll also let you from here um, check your email, maybe change the password or um, learn how to set up or configure it for other email client programs. But right now we're going to just create a new email. So clicking on the create email address um, then pulls up a form to allow us to create a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and just create one for support at the domain name, whatever your domain name is. This one's a not real domain name. And then um, by default, your email box will have a size of 250 megabytes, um, meaning that that's how much space you have in your email box. Um, now, you can have that increase. You can actually increase it now or come back later to increase it. But be aware that this size or this, this file storage also gets included in your whole account. So if you have like say four gigs of space on your account and you have four gigs of email sitting there, that's taking up your space and your site could possibly go down as well as your email. So you, you must, you know, in managing your emails, make sure that you pull them down or delete trash and keep things cleaned up. It's not a storage space. Um, then you would enter in your password, and it needs to be of medium or greater uh, password uh, difficult, uh, difficulty. Um, so it, it just needs to be something that somebody couldn't just easily hack or figure out. Like you wouldn't want to put the name of your first child or something there because somebody could probably know you and then figure out, oh, that's the one that they use. So you want to make it a good password. Um, then you also have the ability of some other options here in the tabs. You could actually do a forwarding to this email account. So say, for example, I have another email address that is um, my name at my email.com. And I want any email that, um, that I get to this new email, I want it to forward to this one. And you could hit return and do multiple emails in the process of creating forwarders. So, and that would just, whatever email comes to this email account that I'm creating right now would also be sent through to these other ones. Email aliases. Um, email aliases basically um, is creating an alias, not a true email account. So I could say that this is sales. And it's, so if anybody emailed sales at this domain name, it would go to support at this domain name. So again, an alias is just not a real email address, but just kind of like a forwarder to the email address that's being created. And you could do multiple aliases. Um, the next option is auto reply. I could turn on auto reply. So whenever my newly created email address gets emailed, it will automatically reply back um, saying whatever I wanted to say, thanks, um, received your email. I will reply when time permits. Something of that nature. Um, you could also use this as a um, auto reply to let people know that you're not checking your email and you're away for a while um, and you will get back to them shortly. You could also do a forward uh, to another email address. Um, you know, simple things like that. The last one is spam filtering. You can switch on spam filtering for this new email address that's been created and it will use um, like a type score to determine if an email that comes in is somewhat is spam and then with whatever program you use you can then say that spam goes in the spam filtering or you can also say delete 
all spam messages or move to a spam folder automatically called spam. Um, again, you'd have to create that in your mail client program or um, the webmail would do it for you. And then you could always check your spam to see if it accidentally got some email came in and went to spam. But also be aware that um, spam, even though that email has been put into a spam folder with your email account, it is file size. And so you can, um, you know, run into, you know, some file size stuff. Um, and this is where you can set up your other spam filters, um, like spam filter sensitivity. Here's um, a link to how to, that teaches you how to, you know, train your spam filter. So that way it gets smarter as you add things to spam, it'll start figuring out, oh, that's spam because of whatever the case may be. Um, also, say you've got a person that keeps emailing you and they keep getting added to your spam um, box. You could whitelist them, put the email address here or the domain that they're emailing you from, and then they will never get put into spam. And same with blacklist. They either somebody that you just, they're, they're spam. And um, spam, for whatever reason, is not catching them. You can put them in here, either an email address or a domain name. Um, then anything coming from that email address or domain name will go into your spam box. Um, and once you're done with all your stuff, you would just hit OK. And you'll see that auto reply is switched on for this account, so on and so forth. So again, um, we just created an email. Now you could log in if you click to here, this is give you directions on how to configure your email client. Um, when they say email client, that's like Microsoft Outlook, um, your Apple Mail, Thunderbird, or um, any of the other third-party programs that um, you use on your computer to check email. Um, as well, this link here will take you to, um, oops, wrong link, to your webmail. Um, which you can check email from webmail, which would be webmail.yourdomain.com. Um, that is it for this training. Um, thanks.